What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to the Overcast Water Rift video. We have a Nyla video, the free LP printer in the jungle department, akin to Kale, but even more powerful. But what is so special about this pick? What is so insane about this pick? And what makes this pick so annoying to deal with? If you play with the Nyla, I feel like you don't have a jungle at all, but once she has scaled, that one changes quite fast. So take a look at the runes. We have Sudden Impact in the rune department, as well as Boots of Dynamism, which are the armor pen boots, and then they have a collector. So in this game, if you can make an argument for a collector champion, it could most likely be Nyla, since she has a unique interaction with crit, as well as lethality. So the more crit she has, the more armor pen she gains, and the more flat pen she has, the more powerful the crit conversion for um, her armor pen becomes, because obviously if you reduce percentage armor on the enemy while already having flat armor pen, you completely deny them all armor. With that in mind, if the enemy is relatively squishy, you deal true damage to them. And as an AD carry, dealing true damage to enemy champions is quite a cool thing. And even against champions who have a lot of armor later on, you still deal a lot of damage with full items. So all you have to do to play Nyla properly is farm, 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 and farm some more. Farming is the typical thing of Nyla, and we see Nautilus just did some real cheesy stuff in the jungle down there. Got some early control as well, and now goes back to the Zeri lane. He knows that he can't really do much in the early game against the Sona and Lucian with the Zeri, because Zeri needs a few levels. But once Zeri hits level 5 and then level 7 after, life is a lot better. So what are we seeing here? see some scuttle crab shenanigans nothing they can do here maybe they look for an angle nautilus hits the hook on 2d sona very interesting but oh nyla doesn't have second ability skilled yet now she gets a point into it has to wait though for a proper moment to use it and then she can turn around pops it gets slapped but goes out in this fight again if they have like any other champion than zeri it's probably likely that the sona actually dies and if there are any other champion in Nyla jungle, it's also likely that they actually get killed there. But during the early game, they simply don't have the power to do anything. Because they're really not early game powerful champions. So, um, yeah, you have to keep the one in mind. And she's rushing. Collector, as it seems. Not even rushing armor pen boots. Or maybe she is rushing um, towards the armor pen component into then building the other armor pen component. Now I'm looking for a counter gank here. Uh, spotted on the ward though. We'll look for a lane gank or maybe just making sure that the Garen can actually play. The Scorpion is a very highly contested objective in the uh, Baron lane up here. Diego comes around the corner, Garen ult doesn't kill we get a kill though here need to be careful the damage of Diego is insane will they turn this around oh my god if this garen is getting picked up it's an ff angle because all that needs to happen is Diego spamming the button to possess someone and then it would already be enough and with Diego possessing the garen he just presses w gets the healing from the passive anyway from possessing and then we have a massive problem, because then the Lila dies and the Viego is fed. And if the Viego is fed, you already know what's going to happen. It's only bad things, only really bad things. Nala is about to have a fully completed item with Collector. A collector Rush. Top on Nala on the Chinese server, cooking up some interesting stuff. Very important that you see the third ability is max, because it's just a superior ability. You see, helps a lot more during the jungle clear, also the cooldown gets a lot lower, just makes trading and just generally does movement a lot better on this champion. So yeah, time will tell in a little bit what the items purchase will be, how much gold she will have, and if she goes for another play before resetting. Because Nyla is a very gold hungry champion. Like, really desires to have all the gold that's needed. Looking for just a counter gank again. Didn't really want to associate with them earlier. Goes in with a combo here. Hits the backline. Gets exhausted and slowed down. Gets a kill, though. Will probably net... Oh, doesn't reach, so immediately recalls. 
and now we'll have fully completed collector as well as armor pen boots yeah so now nyla has a very big spike because nyla has sudden impact the third infant from sudden impact uh the pen from the boots and the pen from collector so right now if she happens to crit it's quite a lot of damage Bubble misses. Vigo goes here at the dragon. Uh, doesn't have ultimate ability available. Vigo popped ult already. Garen is also here. Jax is in the side lane. I need to make it fast. Otherwise, the Jax is gaining so much money on the other side of the map by just hitting platings. Uh, just walking around the corner picking up some fruit for bad days. Meanwhile, Zoe is poking constantly. They just can't find, they just get poked to death while the, the, they just look at each other as like a standoff. Like they need to find an opportunity to go fast or change their objective immediately. Because you, you can't just stand off against heavy poke while you don't have anything. Because like look at your champions, you have Diana and Altolos, you're like all in center champions. And even with Zeri, you have a little bit of poke and all in features. But you don't really want to just uh, stand there and poke against these type of champions. Okay, now looking for an angle. Does she find it to get the Herald? She gets the Herald. Okay, Flash is out. Is still safe. Entire team is fighting for their dear lives. The Nautilus falls. But it's still looking like a decent outcome for them. I mean, now like it's all the gold, so it's very decent for her anyway. Protecting the bottom play here, just making sure the Garen isn't dove. Even though it's a Garen, it's still very easy for him to get dove. Somebody was there to pick it up, but it was a Jax after all. Just very curious to see. Okay, she pops the Herald down here for money. There's a Viego here. Viego will probably die very soon if he happens to go for a play. Hmm. Then neither side committed to the play, so we're all happy with the outcome. Because this this state right now, if we're feeding more gold into the Viego in that type of comp, the game just kind of ends for us, and we are really dependent on the enemy messing up big time. But Viego gets so much free money. The Nala's teammates are not performing really well. They're really underperforming this game, and the Nala really has to make sure she gets all the gold she can to actually carry this game. However, they have to set up. If the Nautilus presses ult onto anyone, they have the tools to get them killed, especially with the Nala follow-up. Um, however, the Sona ult could deny pretty much a lot of this type of gameplay. Because what happens if they try to all in, the Sona ult will create so much space, and the next layer of CC, which is going to be the Jax E, also absolutely detrimental while, while the Viego burst damage is simply too high. Going for another reset here, looking for better days. Mm -hmm. Interesting approach item wise, the Garen has Eclipse. Going for a full damage variant. Hoping to one shot the Jax before he eventually just kills you. And I see how it is. Jax is just too much of a crazy character. But whenever I pick this character, all hell breaks loose. Just waiting for an angle here. Nautilus just takes so much damage. Nautilus goes in with a Giga combo, but with what follow-up? He's just going in alone. Now the backline is exposed. Zeri gets one-shot by the Viego. Nautilus, you need to stop doing that. It's really not it. Goes for the combo onto the Viego. Viego dies, falls to the Collector. Fully completed BT in the base here. BT here grants you so much AD. And also, the unique crit interaction with Nyla. Like, the more crit you have, the more armor pen you gain. So with that in mind, her damage is going to skyrocket even more. And then we have Mortal Reminder, which is an armor pen item as well. Granting you even more armor pen, because, well, it has armor pen, and since it's crit, you also gain armor pen. 
was just a unique and very powerful interaction on this champion, which just makes it such a powerful scaling champion, but very difficult to pick unless it's a counter pick in many, many games. Penta healing being picked up. Another dragon will probably fall into the hands of the enemy team. It's very unlikely that we see something happening here. It's very hard for them to access this fight. Nautilus is in Narnia. Garen is still in Narnia as well. But they can't really do anything. They need to flip if they want to go. I don't think it's even a remotely good idea to go close because there's no assistance at all. Nautilus goes in. She sees the front line. Diana goes. They get completely stopped by the front line. Now they find an angle, Nala had to wait until the end of days to actually find an angle to go in. But the only way this worked out is because Nyla waited so long that they actually were given the chance to play. Because the issue is, um, if Nyla goes in first, it just ends immediately. Because the enemy team, as you saw, would immediately have turned and she needs to have her teammates go in for her and actually create space so she can go within that space and kill the people because that's what Nala loves to do unless you have an enchanter that allows you to just walk in like a maniac you kind of have to depend on your team to some degree to either hold the fort so your team doesn't just lose the entire base early game or for people to create some space so you can find an opening to then go in and pick up a few kills oh that's a nice gargoyle shield that guy surely dies, and then we have the Sona, and now we lost to Garen, and that is probably a double kill. Okay, it gets away. Mortal Reminder fully completed in base. Okay, we have Mortal Reminder. Our damage is about to skyrocket because now we gain so much more armor pen. Oh, this Baron seems to be like a lost cause. Enemy secures the Baron, but now we can still play for the fight. Need to turn around here, need to find an angle. One shot the other one, one shot the next one. Can we even reach the Sona? The ultimate is flying after her. We hit her with a few slaps, but it's simply not enough, sadly. We got a few kills. We nearly got a top lane inhibitor, and now we get at least a few jungle camps as a consolation prize. It's not much, but it's at least something. Meanwhile, our team just randomly chooses to die again. Typical world rift, you know. So far, Nala has not really been doing many mistakes, and just unfortunately, she can't mind control her teammates. So does she buy crit now or does she buy AD? I mean she can buy both. Okay, Nautilus really needs to be more mindful because his H like losing his HP buff for zero is gonna put him into a very weird spot. And I find an angle. Ooh, we see the one tap from the side. The big crit's happening. Every kill is just going into the hands of the Nala. This is the moment that basically she's waiting for the entire game. Hoping for one of these situations where she can one-tap them. That is basically the entire Nala gameplay loop. You wait for your moment, you go in when they're like slightly overextended, slightly split apart, and then you try to feast or try to prey on um, the weaker, the squishy champions. And then you use your tools. There's also a few like interactions you need to keep in mind. Your third ability is an auto attack reset, your second ability is an auto attack reset. So if you want to be a very good Nyla, you obviously want to um, utilize all of this. You can also use your first ability during your third ability. So there's a lot of niche things you can just do to make life easier. Goes into the back line, hits them with a big hit, gets a massive shield, and completely obliterates them. You see, it's just a complete destruction because she has scaled to a point where she has so much armor pen that life look at the damage and it's a pentakill and with the pentakill she ends the game she ends the game right wait do they even get to end 
They don't have much time. They in fact cannot end. That's a tragic chain of events. But well, it gets us closer to the dream of Nyla. But the enemy team might pick up a soul. The game is actually not over. It's actually very much losable. It is very much losable. Every item in the book is being picked up by the Nyla. So now it's time to see, with the flash coming up in 3 seconds, what this Nyla champion can do. We are gonna see some interesting one taps, or she's about to get one tapped. To be mindful of the Zoe, if the Zoe just spell. Oh, she really tried. She really, really did try. Because this could have been a massive uh, thing for her. Killing the Zoe like this. Oh, Zoe gets rooted. Old flash by Nautilus. Instant kill here. Sona tries to go through. Gets QSS here. Oh, no. No W available for the Nyla. Team is helping out quite well. They turn around, they quickly burst him, and that is the end of this game. They win it. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, come back for more Rootcats content, and we'll see each other for more very soon. Also, don't forget to follow or go into the zoo server, because we have a big upcoming event again. Um, they're going to um, release a massive gacha event again, and if you don't want to overpay, Join the zoo server, we'll get you sorted. Thank you very much.